good day and welcome to today's construction class my name is Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon the founder of Michael Tech all right for today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen we were given the elevation and an incomplete plan of a truncated pentagonal pyramid the first problem is to copy the given view and also we have to complete the plan okay so the very first thing is to produce the pentagon which is side of what 43 and that is what you are actually having on the screen so if you don't know how to produce a pentagon kindly follow the link under the description below so next is for me to actually draw my what my elevation my elevation so how do i actually draw that how do i draw that the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to produce a horizontal line okay at the top of this pentagon here faintly okay then i'm measuring a distance of 10 mm from this mark upward from the top here from this junction upward 10 mm that is it i am projecting it horizontally also like this all right so after doing that after doing that i'm going to project each of the points on my pentagon here so i denote this as mark zero one two three four this will be zero over what over five so i'm projecting mark three to this limit here okay mark two i'm going to project that also vertically to that limit there okay as you can see that's my quote mark two so for mark one also mark one also that is it right there and mark zero over five which is this i would project it right there okay we are told that the height of our pentagon from the elevation is what is 70 so picking height of 70 which is this right here with the height of 70 so i project all of this faintly to the height faintly not stick faintly okay so faintly faintly all right so after doing that i was told that at a mark of uh 40 so from the base here this mark of 40 here this mark of 40 a line of what uh 45 degree was actually drawn there but before that i need to project this 42 this edge here faintly okay the height from here downward is what is 40 then with my 45 degree set square from this edge i what i will make this stick so that is my what that is my cutting plane then having this that we are going to what sticking this bottom like this i'm taking this i'm going to take in this i'm going to take in this Okay, this one is going to be kind of center line. Okay, so as it is now, this is my mark 0 over 5. This is mark 1. This is mark 4. This is mark 2. And this area is mark what? Mark 3. Okay, now, how do I get my complete plan? To get my complete plan, I project mark 0 and 5, where it touches the cutting plane on the elevation. I project it down faintly. So projecting this one downward faintly, this way it touches mark what? Mark 0 and 5. You see, you know, from each of the points here, I draw a line to the wall to the center of my what of my pentagon here. From each of the points, from mark 1 to the center, 2 to the center, likewise up to what? Mark 5 to the center. So from the cutting plane, it touches mark 5 right here. Okay. So for mark 1, which is here on my cutting plane. Okay, this way it touches mark 1 on my cutting plane so i'm going to what, pull it downwards to here mark one right here okay so for mark two that's it there 
I'm going to what pull this downward. Okay, so my Mac 2 is touching it somewhere here. Touching my Mac 2 there. Okay, and our 3. This is my point 3. So point 3 is coming down here. So what does that imply? That implies that my line is going to actually come straight away from here. Okay, this one right here. Are you following? So I'm joining this down to this junction here. This junction to where it touches back to here. Then from this point, okay, to uh, this junction here. Yeah, this one is going to come here like this, and this one is going to come here like this. Okay, that is that right there. So we need to get our mark four. So how do we get our mark four? We are going to first of all try and get our what our end elevation before we get our mark what mark four. So to do that, I pick my 45 degree set square. So from the base of the elevation here at 45 degree, I draw this line faintly. Okay. So having that right here faintly, mark four. I'm projecting mark four upwards like this. Okay, mark. 0 and 5 so projecting this line that's for what 0 and 5 okay since I'm looking for only mark 5 I don't need to develop everything yeah but then it gets the midpoint so this is the midpoint right there so midpoint right there I'm projecting the midpoint to the top directly so then I'm going to actually uh, project this IT horizontally like this. Then my mark four that I'm looking for, which is this. Okay, it's, this one is going to what come like this. So as it is now. So this area here to the top here. Okay, this line here is for what my mark four right here. And coming here, this one touches my mark four here. You see, four touches four here. So from that area, I would I project it downward, touching my forty-five degree line. Okay, then from this forty-five degree line, I would I pull it towards my left hand side. It's touching mark four right here. So from from this junction now, from this junction, I'm going to uh, drag this line right here then from this area to here to four so that is going to be our what our plan view so i can now what taking this out i can taking this out i can taking this also out like this so then i'm going to actually section it in this section it's, it's a solid Section it with my foot five degree set school. Mm, so that is that right there. So the next problem says we should produce the auxiliary elevation in the direction of ROP. In the direction of ROP. So ROP is somewhere that is at angle 30 degrees. So I'm going to pick my 30 degree set square and project every point here. So I'm going to start from point four right here. Okay, from point four right here, I would I project faintly. Okay. Then uh, this area point theory, I would I project this junction, I would I project uh, point zero and five, I would. I project the midpoint itself. I would I project so let me make that one a little bit thicker midpoint to stand out. Okay, so this junction here I would I project faintly. So yeah, this area I would I project at what 30 degrees. So this point I would I project faintly. 
and Mark 2. I want I project Mark 2 faintly also and Mark 1 I want I project also. So after doing that, what is the next procedure here? What is the next procedure here? I'm going to actually produce a line at 60 degrees. Let me take this area as my first mark right here. Okay. That line as my first mark right there. As my XY plane. Okay. X Y plane. Right. So next is I need to actually get the height of my object here. So I'm going to project each of these points horizontally. So this area right here, okay, followed by this junction right here, followed by this right here, then this right here. So I'm going to draw a vertical line right there so as to pick that height. Okay. Like this. So here is for 0 over 5. The next one is for mark 1. The next one is mark what? Mark 4. The next one is mark 2. And this is what? 3. So I'm going to actually pick. So this my XY plane now is uh, my what? My base. Which is what? 3. Okay. It's going to act as my what? As my 3. So I'm going to pick my compass now. Okay, from 3 to what? 0 and 5. That is the height right there. So I'm standing here. I mark it out. So this mark is what? 0 over what? Over 5. Right there. So from 3 to here now. To 1. That is it. So standing right there. This next mark is what? Is mark what? Mark 1. From 3 to here now. To 4. I have the height now, so this mark what? This mark four. Then from three to, to okay. Let me just pick it from zero to two so that I can have the correct distance. Zero to two. That's it. So from here down here, that's my mark what? That's my mark two. So I'm going to draw them perpendicularly to the auxiliary plane. Okay, which is going to be at angle what? Angle 60 degrees. Okay, so for mark 2 here now, faintly. Mark 4, faintly. Mark 1, faintly. Mark 0 and 5, faintly. So after doing that now, what is the next step? What is the next step? So the total height of our object, don't forget, is what is 70. So I'm going to get the mark of 70 also. That height, the mark of our elevation is what is 70. So from this XY plane, I have my mark 70 right here. So I have my mark 70 right there. I'm drawing that at angle 60 degree. It was perpendicular to my what to my auxiliary plane also. So after getting that, the next step is that uh this line here yeah i'm going to denote it as a a i'm going to know it as a this line a is the line coming from my midpoint on the plan there so from this area now okay while this mark line is for what is for mark four this particular line here let me write it at the bottom here is mark four this line is for mark four here okay so this one Close to it is for mark three. Yeah. Mark three, four, three. Okay. This line here is for zero comma five right there. Okay. So this line here, this here is for mark what? Mark two. Are you following? Okay. Why this one here is for mark what? Mark one. So each of these junctions, I'm going to direct them to the apex here, which is mark A. So mark four to be faintly, not stick, faintly. 
mark 4 to be mark 3 also to a okay mark 2 to a mark 1 to be to a so 0 and 5 is already to a on its own here yeah. 0 to 5 to a also so i'm having that there first of all so are you following okay so let me actually zoom it out a little for you to see okay so that you can actually take me to what i'm actually doing here all right so as it is now as it is mark one okay this this right here okay so mark See, this is our line one and um, see one coming here intersect with mark one right here take note intersect with mark one right there okay and this is mark two yeah okay mark two right here okay this line is coming from two this very line here is coming from two and our two actually intersect mark two here so i'm going to take in this mark two to two okay i'm taking this intersection of one to one also right and if you look at the plan here so uh you see from this junction of my mark two goes towards that intersection of my mark one here so i'm going to what join them together right here like this okay then what taking this base two to one already settled like that are you following okay so next okay let me also look from this angle here also so this mark four and this four here so four to four actually intersects right here okay four to four intersects right there so this will be my mark three and if you look at this area this mark three goes to join this mark four here isn't it so this three will come and meet this four here first of all okay and four will come to four here first of all okay and if you take note this line our zero and five okay this zero and this line is our zero and five and it is going straight away here so and zero and five is coming is coming is coming it intersects this very line here okay so this is the intersection and this intersection comes to join zero and five here comes to join our one here so this one is actually coming to point one here okay that area is settled like that so that area is settled like that yeah yeah okay and my mark two yes two to uh, this very junction here let me denote it as two complements so this line for two complements here this is it right here okay and this area actually joins my to complement here so this area joins my mark two yeah like this okay so this area is also what ticking like that so i already have this i have this okay so these two complements to mark three here is this down here like that are you following okay zero to five which is this now to we are now to this point here section of four this section of four which is here okay so i'm joining this from here to what to here okay so as it stands now i already have my what my auxiliary view so uh, i'm just taking this this and that one okay I'm going to take in this very well okay then with my 45 degree 
set square going towards actually section it's like this all right so that is my auxiliary view right there that's my auxiliary view right there so the next problem is our surface development of the pyramid using jk as this same. so if you look at the problem my mark j is somewhere here and my mark k is somewhere here so to use that area as the same i'm going to just uh, pick my compass right in this manner so let me pick total height which is here to here okay picking that i'm going to what construct that big arc right there yeah so let me actually bring it out for you okay so that is it that you're seeing there right so picking it in that order then all i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my pencil pick a starting point let me take this area as my mark what mark zero okay picking that as my mark zero and also the next procedure is to pick my compass which is this pick a length of the side which is this for the three then from my zero i'm stepping it up five times one okay two three four and what and five so having it in five places i'm pulling them all to the what, to the apex faintly first faintly to the apex faintly to the apex faintly to the apex faintly to the apex and faintly to the apex so zero one two three four and what and five okay the next step is this okay from the apex we said this first one is what for zero and five i extend my compass to this edge here okay then i what i draw faintly wherever it touches zero and five it touches zero here it touches five right here okay so from this apex next one is what mark one which is this so from here i draw wherever it touches mark one it touches mark one right here are you following so from this apex next is what for mark four which is this so it touches mark four right here which is this here so next is what for mark two which is this okay yeah oh i made a mistake along the line please so this area itself is actually for mark two okay so from our apex my mark three is actually this junction here okay so i'm going to draw one more big arc like that so the first one i draw was actually a mistake so mark three is coming right here so i'm going to extend each of these lines to that arc of three well that is that should be the length of my arc the first arc i pick to the to an error for my parts please just take note of what i'm actually doing okay yeah so it touches my mark theory at the base there so all i'm going to do is i'm going to join theory to two right here with my ruler as you can see on the screen okay then two to one here and zero to one in that order then five to four and four to three also okay don't forget we are joining it is a prison sorry a pyramid so it has a straight base the base is a straight edge okay and that's what i'm doing right now i'm figuring out the base right now with my ruler and my what and my pencil okay so then i'm going to what thicken this like this this right here then mark four 
down here will be tick mark five down here will be tick and zero to here would tick also so as you can see on the screen this shape yeah is the what is the surface development of our uh truncated pentagonal pyramid using jk so this is my uh k and j okay this is my words j and what and k as the word as the same so it remains the last part the last part we are to produce the true shape of the cut surface the true shape of the cut surface so i'm going to bring that downwards okay since we cut it at a mark of what five degree so i'm going to pick my uh set square okay from every junction here project that i want for five degree i'm going to want to pull them downwards and pull them downwards so i can adjust my camera a little okay yeah so from mark three at the base here downward like that going to mark two from the section part of downward like that going to mark four on the section part which is this all right then going to mark one on the section part which is what this then we're going to mark zero and five on the section part which is what this so ensure you draw them faintly okay then i'm going to take this as my baseline okay so having done that i'm going to pick my compass with my compass okay so i'm going to project this area on the plan yeah so here is my midpoint i project it out okay this junction i project it out yeah the section area for this i project it out for this i project it out for this junction here i project it out for this project it out and for this i want i project it out so then i'm going to actually introduce a straight vertical line here like this okay so for this first one here that will mark four right there okay that's mark four this one is going to be mark three four three and this one right here is going to be what zero and five this first one is our mid point mid okay so this next one here is my mark one okay so this area is on my mark what this is on my mark two and i'm going to take this as what mark two complement so next is to pick my compass so i'm going to use this first line here as my mode as my mid taking that as my mid so from this midpoint let me start from the top to mark four picking that distance to mark four that's to mark four so line of mark four is this very line here so coming to this center i pick my mark four which is that okay the area is set to as it is okay so next uh from this midpoint to my mark what mark three which is this mark three i think to mark three and line for mark three is actually this coming here okay is this baseline here so from here yeah to this area is from my what my mark three okay so mark zero and five okay from the mid i pick that distance to zero and five and this first line here is my words this line here okay no oh, sorry this one here this very line here is my zero and five so coming right here and zero and five is at the top i have my words my zero and five okay so from this midpoint now to mark one 
a pigga length mark one and if you look diligently this oh i've made a mistake along the line please for my mark one okay let me do for my mark one from this area to this area is my what this is my mark one so this area is not there please so that area should be for my zero and five so let me pick this length here which is this coming right here putting it here so this is my what zero and five this line is for zero and five this line is for what for mark one okay this line is for mark what mark four this line is for mark mark two why this line is for mark what mark three so take note of those numbering i'm actually putting there okay and even yeah i think i've made several mistakes right here please and please so mark one should actually be here should be on this axis here sorry so these areas i circled are not useful this two area yeah yeah i know you so this is my mark one so the line is for mark one okay mark one this is my mark one here so take note all right so from the mid to uh mark two first this mid to mark two we said this for two so i'm having my mark two right here okay I'm having my mark to right there and still on our mark theory this area to complement is line on uh, our mark theory line okay so from the mid to to complement and that's a complement is line on mark theory so from here down to this area like this which is going to be this right here okay then i'm going to what pick my ruler Picking my ruler, I join this to this. Okay. I join this to this. I join this to the top there. From this area, I join it to this. Okay. From this to this right here. Okay. And I'm having. this to this like this okay and down is coming right there and yeah i think that's that's all right that's all that's all that's the true shape there so i'm going to actually section that true shape with my 45 degree set square so this here so these are what this our sectional oh sorry i wasn't showing you this i'm sorry so that's uh uh the true shape of the what of the uh court surface of the section surface all right so that brings us to the end of the words of this particular problem so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also Refers to your friends who might be in need of it. My name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you.